back to car mad dad they say you should always beware of an underdog <laughs> never has that been more true than when i went on the petrol head scotland tour this year i met sean and sonia in the suzuki swift sport <clears throat> caught up with sean earlier today we met at caffeine and machine just outside of stratford upon avon sean's been kind enough to give me a go and a good look around the swift an absolute whale of a time and a great afternoon with him and here is the video from that rendezvous enjoy I have been looking forward to this. Think of this car as it's just like an 80s or 90s. Yeah. 80s or 90s clutch. <laughs> but it, it revs. Yeah. What's that going to? Seven basically or thereabouts. Good God. <laughs> Sounds like it's going to blow up at five and then you realise it's really comfortable, doesn't it? It, sort it, of, it gets back into its stride. Yeah, it sort of like kicks on again. Oh my word. It handles well for what it is. That's mind-blowing. It's bet the brakes have made a big difference. Yeah. Mostly, to, I think, to my confidence. So what have you done to the brakes? All the calipers have been uh, sent off to Big Red and they've been refreshed, that's why they're purple. Yeah. You are good my way. I've got red hoses, which I didn't realise held hoses came in red, <laughs> but that's the other one, held braided hoses. Yeah. And then uh, racing fluid as well. Okay. Oh, and the DS2500 front pads. And how much of a difference do you say they've made compared to what you... It stops. Made stock? Yeah, yeah, it really stops. And they get better with a bit of heat. Okay. So rather than fading off, they seem to, they're with you all, well, all the time. Yeah. So nothing really. Yeah, it's kicking. There's 4, your thousand, four. yeah. And there's your five. five. Six. Variable valve, I think that's probably what that is. It's not lift, it's just cam switch. It's then on coilovers. You Bilstein B12. Okay. Or 14. Yeah. Whichever one they do for the car. Uh, they initially ruined the handling. Felt great for a while until I chucked it around some corners and then realised I had nothing but understeer. What you lose, with your McPherson strut, you, get, you, you lose your geometry point, like your roll sensor basically. So okay. what effectively was happening, if you look at a picture, it's easier. Is my tire, my, my roll sensor was too, it was either too high or low, I can't remember, but I ended up with rolling onto the edge of the tire. So I'm already midway through its, its arc, basically. Right. Was it a spacer fix or? Uh, I suppose kind of. The okay. uh, roll sensor adjusters, they, they're longer. So they, right. they, they, they put your wishbone. If you look underneath the car, you can see they're back flat. It gives you your arc back a little bit. That, that, Literally immediately give him a handling back and I had a geometry done and I bought some camber bolts just to give myself a little bit extra. Okay. It's 1.1 degrees I think. You can see it on the front if you look. Yeah. Now you're gonna get a test. Oh wow. There's still there's plenty of reserves still. Yeah. Two years ago, from the dealer, 50, you know, one owner, fifty thousand miles, and it was, I think, just under six grand. So wow. now they're they're even less than that. They're what, maybe four, four and a half. Okay. All right. And sort of modification-wise, cost, if you don't mind me asking. But in total, you know, just the coilovers and a few other things, you might be like one and a half to two. You've got to be careful because you know, if girlfriends are watching. No, no, she knows. Need to say it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She knows. It's full. It's full. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, like I think probably everything, including all, because I, I do all my servicing and stuff. It's, okay. Uh, probably just under, just over two and a half, two to two and a half. See, like that. you've saved that in servicing, haven't you? Really. And what have you done to the exhaust? You mentioned the exhaust as well. Uh, yeah, so it's a Remus Center, um, right. two inch. It's not really big. It doesn't need it. It's a small engine. Yeah. There's no silencer in the middle either, like there used to be. I've run that with the standard back box for a while. Got bored of that. I wanted a bit more noise and had the rear. The rear section's custom by a company by. TRP. Looks smart from the back. We couldn't have driven down a posher road. <laughs> Please. Yeah, I'm down. That man's trimmed his bush real posher. <laughs> <laughs> so, how long have you owned the car? Uh, it's just storage. Look at this cubby. Nice. It's a nice. storage. <laughs> Does nothing but squeak. <laughs> I mean, literally, like, you're, I'm surprised actually we're doing alright. It'll probably start squeaking. That's soon. okay. We'll edit the squeaking out. You've owned it, what, two years? Uh, 
Uh, yeah, it's never once mechanically gone wrong. And it's done 80,000 miles, hasn't it? Yeah, I've put 30,000 on it in two years. Yeah. I chose this because obviously it comes with quite good reviews. Yeah. Little things like the engines and cam chain, so there's no cam belt to worry about. Obviously it's Japanese. I'll tell you what I'm impressed with most as a passenger, having seen it both in front of me and in my rear view and driving at pace in Scotland is the ride. It, it's decent. Yeah, it's not. It gets unbearable. better the faster you go as well. Yeah, and that, that's what I thought is, you know, when you do push on, it doesn't it doesn't become this unbearable cage. It dealt with Scotland surprisingly well. I'm pretty sure it got bottomed out a few times. Yeah, because some of those roads were <laughs> Duke's Pass. First day, Duke's Pass. That that's on the way back was my... What's your favourite bit? maximum fun in this car aren't you yeah. Similar. Just pulling out as well, so like stand still now, first gear. I haven't done that very well. That's 40 mile an hour. That's 60 mile an hour. People have asked me this on the Petrohead store, like, you know, why'd you pick it or what's yeah. it like and stuff. And it's just a more modern version of an older hatchback. Yes, yeah, I can see you've got that. It's, it's lightweight, the engine's revy, yeah. naturally aspirated. It's just, you've got airbags. Yeah. And it's a bit, and it, it, a little the, bit the chassis's a bit, a bit better. It's like a happy, it's eager to please, isn't it? Yeah. It's like a little happy. 
Your own yeah. car, and you're all cloudy, <laughs> yeah. your own car, like it's the best thing ever. It's as good as you think it is. 